สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m i s t a n z a Welcome to February. It's February 1st. You're watching Phuket Extra, brought to you by PPCPhuket.com. Data from Thailand's Pollution Control Department have reported unhealthy levels of PM 2.5 particulates across Phuket yesterday and today. The Air Pollution Real-Time Air Quality Index, or AQI, reported a red, unhealthy PM 2.5 reading of 151 for the south side of Phuket Town at 10 a.m. today. A warning of unhealthy for sensitive groups, PM 2.5 reading of 122 was reported for the north side of Phuket Town. A similar warning of unhealthy for sensitive groups was reported for the Naihan area late yesterday afternoon. And at 11 a.m. today, air quality in Chelong marked a PM 2.5 reading of 134, also spurring an unhealthy for sensitive groups warning. Warnings for unhealthy for sensitive groups are marked with the advice: members of sensitive groups may experience health effects. The general public is not likely to be affected. Active children and adults and people with respiratory disease such as asthma should limit prolonged outdoor exertion. Meanwhile, the Phuket Pollution Control Department office in recent days has also stepped up its announcements for people to avoid any burn-offs. For more, visit the phuketnews.com. A key Phuket government information office has shared posts online by a national anti-corruption network calling into question major construction projects that have failed to materialize despite hundreds of millions of bots spent on them. The Phuket Info Center, which operates under the Phuket Governor's Office, shared the two posts by the Strong Anti-Corruption Thailand Club over the past two days. One of the posts highlighted a building at Phuket Rajabat University, located north of Phuket Town, that remains unfinished despite construction starting 10 years ago and 495 million baht already spent on the project. The building, originally intended to provide a venue to hold teaching courses in hospitality, now sits abandoned. The post stated that last year, a further 61.4 million baht was allocated to completing the building and is still not finished. The other project highlighted was a 131 million baht project that was supposed to be spent improving the Phuket checkpoint, through which all vehicles traveling onto or off the island by road must pass. The project started in 2016 with a finish date scheduled for April 2017, but it's been six years and still has not been opened. The network went on to explain, quote, The internal condition is damaged and incomplete, as shown in the pictures. It is a waste of space and a waste of budget funds that cannot be used again. Phuket is a world-class tourist city. Each year, it receives 10 million tourists. But instead of completing this and being able to use it, where did the project become stuck? For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Prime Minister Prayut chan o has insisted that any police officers involved in extorting money from a Taiwanese actress during her trip to Thailand last month must face legal action. Commenting about the impact on the tourism industry, the Prime Minister said any problems involving police extorting money from tourists must be fixed and rogue officers punished. Actress Charlene Ann complained via social media that she was stopped by police near the Chinese embassy in Bangkok at about 1 a.m. on January 4th. She claimed she was kept there for two hours but police later countered the claim, saying footage from security cameras showed she was there for 47 minutes. According to her complaint, the officers told her that her visa on arrival was unacceptable and must be printed on her passport with an official emblem. After being searched and having long conversations with police and asking what she did wrong, the 33-year-old finally learned she had to pay for her freedom. She said she paid 27,000 baht and was freed. The National Police Chief, Police General Damrong Sak Kiti Papas, said he apologized to people affected by the actions of police on duty at the time, adding that most police are decent people dedicated to serving the public. Reports say 14 police officers from Huai Kwan Police Station were questioned over the case, all of whom denied taking bribes, but seven, according to reports, have been transferred pending the results of an investigation. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. A police senior sergeant major has been transferred to an inactive post pending investigation after he was alleged to have demanded 60,000 baht from a foreign tourist for possession of an e-cigarette in Pattaya. 
A Chinese tour guide was said to have sent a message to other guides in his group saying that a tourist under his care was detained for having an e-cigarette by a policeman who demanded a fine of 60,000 baht. After some bargaining, the sum was reduced to 30,000 baht. Vaping devices are prohibited goods in Thailand, and this allegedly happened in Pattaya on January 28th or 29th of this year. A subsequent investigation identified the cop involved, and he's been transferred pending investigation into the alleged soliciting of a bribe. For more, visit the link in the description. Transparency International has released their 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index and shows that Thailand has improved by nine places to 101st out of 180 countries, up from 110th last year. The country's overall score improved to 36 out of 100, with zero being most corrupt and 100 least corrupt, from 35 in 2020, according to the Berlin-based organization whose reports are widely followed. The rankings show that Thailand is fourth among ASEAN countries and ranked 101st worldwide, the same with Peru, Serbia, Sri Lanka, and Turkey. The world's least corrupt country was Denmark with a score of 90 points, followed by Finland and New Zealand at 87 each. Singapore was fourth with 83 points and leads Asia. For more, visit the link in the description. Thank you so much for joining us on this Wednesday edition of Phuket Extra, brought to you by pvcphuket.com. Join us again tomorrow. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as $75,000 US dollars, and luxury properties can go all the way up to $20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential, Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor, to find your perfect Phuket property.